We're down here on one of our research vessels today uh, to work on the final stages of a, a small business innovative research project to develop what we call a collaborative subsea manipulation interface. So what we have on the, on the seafloor here is actually a robotic arm that's integrated in, into a test bed that we've been working with for some time now. Close to the connector as it's going to come down there. This 2014 video reported on the robotic arm and its control system developed by a team of UW scientists and engineers. And what's unique about this project is our ability to combine the spatial awareness of a computer system with the perceptive capability of a human operator. We use a, what's called a haptic device. Haptics, tactile feedback technology which takes advantage of the sense of touch by applying forces, vibrations, or motions to the user. Doing for the sense of touch what computer graphics do for vision. Now, new sensors are vastly improving the robotic arm's ability to act as a functional extension of a human arm. What's really exciting is that we actually have a couple of advanced sensors that are allowing us to uh, develop 3D representations of that underwater environment. Much of the work involves adapting and integrating off-the-shelf technology. We also have a 3D sonar system that's developed and marketed by Teledyne Blueview. Uh, and then we have a really interesting laser scanner system uh, that has been provided to us by 2G Robotics. I'm sitting here in my office and I'm, on, I'm controlling the manipulator that is actually down in the lake uh, in Portage Bay right now. The additional sensors enable advanced haptic controls and enhanced 3D visualization. These tests have been a major success. I mean, the laser scanner can actually see underwater and it turns out that we can actually do this even in murky waters. This laser scanner actually casts a, a laser line across the environment and then images it with a camera and is able to get a, a point cloud, which is a 3D representation of, of what's in that space. Having that 3D data makes all the difference in the world. They can go and unplug the connector as easy if they were using their own hands, really. Going forward, this technology really connects spatial awareness and intelligence to control systems. Uh, and in doing that, we'll revolutionize how we use subsea equipment and robotics. Right now, there's a high degree of inefficiency and failure and downtime associated with pilot error, and our technology can make operations far safer and more, more efficient. The company, Blue Haptics, is a UW startup. The robot arm project employs algorithms developed by the UW Department of Electrical Engineering. APLUW provides expertise in robotics and ocean engineering. I've been an entrepreneur for 20 years. This is my first company and working with the university in the applied physics lab. And I have to say it's really made my job a lot easier. The grant funding, the support, and the gravitas of having APL behind us gives us instant credibility in the marketplace. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.